Hello, my name is Rachel and I love getting things in the mail. So, Timu got me once again. I, did, I forgot exactly how this time. I think they gave me like an uh, Instagram coupon for I think 30% off up to $40 worth of stuff or something like that and free shipping. So they again gave me a coupon that just I couldn't resist and I mean I got a lot of things. It's pretty much all accessories. I think I did try one piece of clothing but as I've mentioned in my previous Timu uh, videos I feel like they're more like Wish so I don't think that their clothing is going to match what they're showing <laughs> because that was always the experience I had on Wish. I feel like at least with Shein and Romwe they for the most part show photos of the actual item you're getting. <laughs> They very rarely like maybe maybe sometimes because Shein is kind of like a big Amazon where they have lots of different companies selling on their platform. So maybe some of the other companies in there do, but I feel like everything that's had a Shein label in it, you actually got what the picture was. And same with Romwe, you actually got what the picture actually was of. And uh, I feel like with Wish, I never got what the picture was of. I got something that looked like they used a reference photo of the picture <laughs> and then created something kind of similar but not really <laughs> but I did get one piece of clothing let's open this up and like I said I got tons of accessories but we're gonna start with the one piece of clothing <laughs> and I have tried this so many times oh this even has a uh, brand in it <laughs> but it is a, once again a rip off of the you know kill star sweater with all the rips and holes in it and this one is super soft like I've done this twice where I've bought uh so, you know, sort of ripoffs of that Killstar sweater although this one uh, oh yeah it does have the holes in it and the first one was my very first Shein order and that one was not very soft and cut really small so it didn't really work out for me and um the other one was from Amazon which was amazing the Amazon one was a absolutely amazing blew me out of the water it was super soft just like this and it fit perfectly now I um this does say it's one size um, it looks like it'll fit me, but since this is the only piece of clothing that I got before we move on, I'm just going to try this on real quick right here in front of you. Okay, guys, so actually this is pretty perfect. Uh, it fits me just the way I like, like not too tight, um, but still manages to be just a touch form fitting. Uh, the Like I said, it's super soft. I, uh, the only complaint I would have is this neck hole was just a touch tight to get on especially without messing up the makeup <laughs> but because it doesn't really stretch doesn't have a lot of stretch to it but I could see me maybe in the back cutting it and giving that uh, more looseness or I might just leave it like it is and just deal with the tightness another different detail they have is they actually have a folded over cuff that's sewn down so that's interesting so I guess those are the things that make it different I wish they'd put thumb holes in it, but I guess with this type of sweater, I could jam my thumb through there if I really wanted to. <laughs> but no, I'm super happy with with this replica <laughs> dupe of the Killstar sweater, which, you know, this sweater has been around forever. I had an Illig version of this sweater. I had a lip service version of this sweater. I had so many versions of this sweater all through the years. So, uh, but now Killstar is the company really known for it and uh, of course there's tons of dupes <laughs> let me sit back down because I can leave the sweater on but yeah there's but there's tons of dupes you know all over Amazon all over all the different uh, Asian websites you can find all the different colors and everything if you don't want to pay the full Killstar price but still like the look um, this one was only like ten dollars so this is the probably the least expensive of all the duplicates i've seen and then i got that discount on top of it so i only paid like maybe six dollars for this sweater and i'm incredibly happy with this and i also think it's cute that it actually does have a brand label it's miss lin lin i think that's adorable so yeah i am super happy with this purchase this is more than i could have hoped for for the price so maybe maybe i will be giving them a little more attention to their clothes maybe i will try a few more of their clothes in the future i still like i said though i still still don't quite trust their clothing but let's get into the three billion accessories i did get <laughs> so i got this little bat shaped choker and i'm pretty sure he was only like a dollar 
And this, there's so many things I can do with this. Uh, I might, actually I think this might be the right side. I think I'll start showing you the back. Let me, let me get him out of there. There we go, there's the right side. So he just snaps on like that. And I have a, a Cricut, and I actually made one like this once upon a time. <laughs> Cause like I had the faux leather and the, the bat thing. And yeah, I, I actually made one of these chokers a long time ago. Uh, before I started seeing them everywhere online. <laughs> but uh, one of the things I might do is like I did with my old one that I made because I, I got rid of that one or didn't get rid of it. I sold it <laughs> years ago. What I did was I had punched a little hole here at the bottom and then dangled another charm from him. So that's something that I might do with him because he's already made for me. So I might just throw a charm there at the bottom. Um, he might end up in one of my grab bags because you guys know when I do the vending, I occasionally will do those $10 grab bags and I like to have little inexpensive things like that to pad those grab bags out with my, uh, because the grab bags are like my not perfect items, like especially when I do resin, they get bubbles in them or just chain mail that's just been sitting in my collection for too long or stuff like that. But anyway, enough about all that. Let's move on to more stuff because there's so much stuff in here. This is going to take me forever. <laughs> So I got some little bubble mailers, and these are the really small ones, but these are good for mailing, you know, small pieces of jewelry like I sell, just the tiny ones. But plenty big enough for most of my necklaces. And again, they, they weren't expensive, and I got even a bigger discount on top of that, so. And then I bought multiple plastic storage containers. These were only like a dollar each, which is a really good price for these because like you can find like these same sort of sizes and and compartment number type storage containers at like any of the craft stores, but they, they cost like anywhere from like five, sometimes even ten dollars. <laughs> so getting these for less than a dollar a piece, definitely a good deal. These are just small organza bags. Again, for you know when I sell jewelry especially earrings. These are the perfect size for earrings. And some of the other things I have, like pendants and such. These are socks. <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited for these socks. It was three pair and they were like $6 for the three pair. Uh, but that's like only $2 a piece. But they're knee highs with skulls and crossbones. I did get the large, extra large, and I hope that they fit me. They're supposed to be like compression socks. And that's why I'm a little nervous about whether or not they'll fit me because I do have pretty thick calves. But I will try those on later and let you know. <laughs> okay guys, I know I'm cutting off part of my head but I need you to be able to see the socks. <laughs> the socks do fit me, but I feel like just barely. And these are large, extra large, and they were sold as men's compression socks. And I understand compression socks means they're supposed to be tight. But if you have a calf thicker than, I have a 16 inch calf. If you have a calf thicker than 16 inches, I, I don't think you would have, you would be able to get them on because like I did, I was able to get them on, but I can e feel where they're like really, <laughs> really tight. I mean, maybe they'll loosen up. Maybe they would work for someone with a slightly larger calf, but I can't imagine these fitting a large, extra large men. <laughs> Cause I, I like, yeah, I do have big calves, but I feel like most men do have m more muscular calves than, than, you know, mine aren't muscle, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, but they do fit me. I'm really happy about that because they are super cute with their skulls and crossbones. And I will definitely be wearing these this winter, although I didn't have much luck getting them on over my tights. So that goes back to that if you're... <laughs> Your calf is much bigger than 16 inches. They probably would not work. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe, maybe they stretch more. I mean, I guess I can kind of get my hand in there. Sort of get my hand in there, so maybe another inch, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but I am super happy they fit me. <laughs> and I actually think they go cute with this outfit. <laughs> but that's it. Just wanted to, to give that update on the socks. Next, this is just a makeup brush set. Um, it's like the fan brush is a little crushed in there. Can give it some room. Doesn't want to come undone. <laughs> there we go. Give the fan brush a little bit of room. As you can see, they're just the mermaid tail 
makeup brushes. I just thought they were super cute and they were only a dollar. They'll probably end up, you know, in that future uh, giveaway I'm, I plan on when, once I hit 4,000 subscribers, I'm doing another one of my big giveaways and this will probably end up one of the gifts in that. They were just so cute. <laughs> and then of course I bought a lot of jewelry because you guys know I like to steal the pendants and put them on my own pieces. And I really liked this little goddess pendant and I thought that would be gorgeous on one of my chainmail necklaces. Uh, this was just a several ring, if they fit me. Oh, Ooh, and these rings are actually in like bigger sizes because my, my fingers run size seven to nine. So these three are definitely, those three in the middle are definitely larger sizes. They all fit me really well, actually. Um, this one only fits, it's too loose for my pinky, but it's too big for my, like, rest of my finger. <laughs> I can say that backwards. It's too small for the rest of my fingers, but it's too loose for my pinky. This one um, fits my pinky okay, I guess. That's just a little buckle, but yeah, those are those rings. So yeah, it was a set of five rings. I'm sure it wasn't very expensive. Uh, the main reason I did get this set, though, was because I really wanted the coffin ring. I've seen many versions of this coffin ring, usually with like a black, uh, what's that called, acrylic or resin background. But I liked the simplicity of this one where it's just the silver. And then I got a couple more packs of stickers. You guys know I love stickers and I love to put them... And I always include some stickers in any of my uh, gifts or Etsy sales. I always include a little, a little baggie of some fun stickers, but super cute. I'm not going to show you all the stickers because we'd be here all day. <laughs> but you get the idea from just the top sticker. This was just a little set of Halloween earrings, which um, I will be repurposing for other jewelry items and doing things with that another pendant that I'm going to steal and put on my own pieces of jewelry but I absolutely loved this it is an ankh with a kitty cat like Egyptian cat you know, so I guess bast but still <laughs> with the ankh and I just thought that was so cute and definitely is going to look great on one of my chainmail pieces another pendant that I intend to do the same thing with it does come with a necklace it just did not come on the necklace but I would have taken it off the necklace anyway because again this is something that I will be adding oops, <laughs> to my own creations but it's a I believe that's a Thor hammer of Thor I can't remember what his hammer's name is Mithernroll or I, I think I might have that confused with Lord of the Rings mythology never mind but yeah Thor's hammer <laughs> So much in here. This is just a small resin mold of butterflies. I don't really have any uh, butterfly molds, so I thought these would be cute. I could make some cute little resin butterflies and do some butterfly jewelry. I haven't done butterfly stuff yet except for the I do have the butterfly with the skulls because <laughs> that's normally more my style but I thought I would try some you know regular butterflies <laughs> these are gonna be terrible I know these are gonna be absolutely terrible but these are adult novelty item fangs <laughs> like I don't think you're you need to use huh, I actually I have no idea what's going on here I have no idea how these work. <laughs> and it comes with these rubber things too. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's directions. <laughs> Let's see. Watch in amazement as special FX fangs actually grow into place right before your eyes. No idea. Does not come with instructions. Just comes with these two rubbery things and this plastic thing which I guess will go in your mouth <laughs> and 
I guess the rubbery things somehow go in there to keep them in place. I don't know. Like I said, there's no instructions on them. They seem a little ridiculous and I definitely need to play with them when I'm not wearing a transferable lipstick because now they're, now they look like they've been used. <laughs> now, now they look like they're covered in blood. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I may or may not be able to figure that out. That may or may not be fun to play with. But they were like a dollar. I was like, why not? <laughs> Another just a little resin mold. And this is just a moon. I believe these are actually supposed to be shaker molds, but I've never quite figured out shakers. So I actually just make them into little trays because they're like, they make cute little ring trays because I have a heart one that's a uh, same sort of thing. And they, they do make adorable ring trays, like, you know, a tray for one ring. <laughs> and it's a little moon shaped one. But yeah, I, I've never quite figured out shakers. So. <laughs> I don't know if you remember my one of my last team hauls where I got that super super tiny sorry my bag is falling off my lap super super tiny death moth charm that was like itty bitty well this is more the size I expected it to be <laughs> so now I do have one that's more in that size I expected it to be and of course this will end up on one of my my pieces eventually I mentioned it before buying these charms is cheaper than going to a Michaels and buying their you know a focal point pieces because they're usually run like four to five dollars and I didn't pay more than two dollars for any of these. I love this one too. It's the Tree of Life with the uh, Triple Moon Goddess in the center. Again, does come with a chain, but I will be putting this on one of my own pieces. So it's, uh, you know, it's just, these are just cheaper than buying Michaels. <laughs> and they probably come from the same manufacturer because all of Michaels charms are also made in China. <laughs> And then I got this one, which is a snake on a cross, but then it turned, because it's a snake on a cross, it turns that cross into a onk. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that means anything, but I just thought it was really cool. Again, that'll end up on one of my chains at some point. <laughs> and in case you're wondering what I, I do with all the chains that came with the necklaces that I'm no longer using, because I'm putting these on my own uh, necklaces, the resin charms I make, the ones that end up in the grab bags because they might have a few too many bubbles in them or something like that, I put them on these chains. <laughs> because, you know, when I'm selling that whole grab bag for $10, I don't want to put in chains that I've put hours of work into. <laughs> so that, that's, that's how I recycle these chains. And I did get another set of these. I got these last time. And it's just the pentagram with the goat head earrings. And then I actually turn those earrings again into charms for my necklaces. The focal points for my necklaces. <laughs> and here is that tree of life one again, but in black. I really love this one. It came with a black chain. <laughs> and I got this coffin ring in a size eight. It's just a, you know, silver tone with a faux black onyx coffin on it and I just thought it was really pretty and it was inexpensive and I, I do have those real gemstone coffins I actually have a moonstone one that I, I've kept for myself and absolutely love <laughs> but the uh yeah like I said it was inexpensive and I just thought it was super cute <laughs> we are getting towards the end there's only a few items left Hopefully this video won't be too god awfully long. <laughs> and here we have yet another charm. This one is actually surprisingly thin, but it's still a good size, still super cute. Look at that. It's like a crow or raven. I can never tell them apart. Um, I think this might be a crow because don't ravens have a little bump on their nose? But anyway, he's wearing a wizard hat and there's a moon. So cute. Absolutely love it. And... This is an interesting necklace. Like, see, it's got that little circle there and this here. So you wrap it around and put it through like that. So that's actually really cute. Uh, but again, this is going to be get, most likely get repurposed on one of my chain mail pieces. <laughs> but, it, but still, that necklace is pretty cool too. I didn't realize the necklace was also that cool. So 
I actually thought I ordered this one in silver. Maybe I did. Maybe they just sent me the wrong color. <laughs> but I'll still be able to use it because I do occasionally do golds as well. But it was just a super cute upside down hanging bat on a branch. Uh, but like I said, I really thought I ordered him in silver. But I can still, I'll still be able to use him even though he's gold. I'm 90% certain I did order silver. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine unless I ordered two of them. Because sometimes I order like a couple of the colors like I did for the Tree of Life one. But there's only a few items here left and I don't see it. So <laughs> Stup is another one of those Thor's hammer, but this one is in solid black. Again, bought to put on my, uh, you know, chainmail pieces. This one just came with a faux leather cord rather than an actual chain. Only three pieces left. We're almost done, guys. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me. Oh my goodness, so many accessories. <sighs> and all of this I got for like less than forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, another. This is a Medusa pendant. There she, there she is. I thought that was really cool. Again, we'll be adding that to my stuff. This one did come with a silver chain. Only two more left. We're getting there. We're in the home stretch. I bought a second of the the cat ones. Um, must be a different color. I don't even remember what color the other one was. And I've already lost it in this pile of stuff. <laughs> but yep. So a second one of the cats with onks. I, I think the other one was more silver and this one's more black. But yay, because <laughs> I think that is just the cutest charm. <laughs> the final charm, this is just, I, I've had a similar one to this. Uh, it's just a skull inside octopus tentacles. <laughs> and I just think that he's really fun and cool. Uh, the other one I had was bigger and chunkier, but this one is still pretty cool and will look wonderful on one of my chains or chokers. So that is everything from this uh, Timu haul. I know that was a lot of stuff. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. <laughs> Let me know what you thought about all of this stuff that I just got down in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, of course, you can give it a thumbs down and feel free to tell us all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.